This is unbelievable. A Florida dentist known for the quote, lightest touch, is arrested and charged for beating another man with a golf club. This flashback, this nightmare or something where it's just coming back to me and it's awful and it wakes me up. The victim, Joseph Sivak, sat down with Law and Crime Network to relive the traumatic event. She started attacking me, hitting me, hit me with the golf club. I go down. The incident happened on April 30th in Lady Lake, Florida. Sivak says he and his wife were walking through the Harbor Hills golf course, something they've done many times before. Normally, we live in this um, gated community that where there's homes built all along the golf course, and we live right on the 18th fairway, right at the 18th tee. And we lived here since May of 2016, so just about seven years, uh, literally, since we moved here. And one of the things we do is my wife and I walk, um, you know, started in the pandemic, sometimes we'll walk around the area and the neighborhood do five, six, seven miles, we'll walk for a couple hours and we'll do this, you know, sometimes three, four times a week. Sivak says his son JJ was visiting the family home for the first time in two years. So he planned for a quick morning walk. You know, we'll be right back in like 40 minutes. We left and started, started our walk. Um, our normal loop, which literally we've probably done hundreds and hundreds of times, um, these same steps. On this routine walk, Sivak says he and his wife Lorraine walked along a path on the golf course. In all his many trips through the area, he says he never walks along the fairway and avoids golfers. But during this particular walk, a golfer approached him from behind. So we're doing this and we're going out towards the end and um, here's someone coming up behind us screaming and yelling and saying very angrily, get the f off, get the F off, using dropping lots of F bombs, get off the golf course, get off this path. You don't belong here, just carrying on. I turn around. The man later identified as area dentist Eddie Orobig allegedly started screaming at CVAC and getting physical. He continues swearing at me and yelling at me as, as we're going past. And Lorraine, my wife's like, come on, come on, just ignoring. And, and he's right there just taunting me, swearing. And, you know, I turned around and I swore back at him, you know. I said, well, F you, we're leaving, okay? He gets in my face. I mean, we're literally like inches apart. He's swearing at me, yelling at me. That's when Sivak says Oral Big spit in his face. He literally stops and spits in my face and he's holding a golf club in his right hand and we're standing face to face, toe to toe. And he hits me, not hard, but he hits me more than a tap with the golf club. I, he he hit me, spit on me and, and Larry's like, like, let's go. And and he's just like jeering after he spit on me. So I, I thought that was a, an assault. So I hit him at that point with my, with my fist, which had a plastic water bottle in it hit him on the side of the head. It was like a glancing blow, didn't do anything. And then from there, you know, it just it all hell broke loose. During the altercation, Sivak's wife dialed 911. 911, we are having an altercation on the golf course. I okay, do you know the address? We need somebody now. Okay, ma'am, what is the address that you're located at? Ma'am, what address are you located at? I can't send help to you. I, I don't know where you are. Yep. I what? can't give you the address. Okay, what golf course are you at? Ma'am, what golf course are you at? She frantically told dispatch about the fight. Stop it! Oh my god, they just won't stop! Okay, well what's going on, ma'am? They're fighting with golf clubs, kicking the s*** out of each other. She started attacking me, hitting me, hit me with the golf club. I go down at some point, and this is like one of the worst parts. I'm down on the ground because I, I think I turned around at some point to get away from him, and he hit me on the right side. He was kicking me when I was on the ground in the side, in the chest, in, in the ribs. So I'm pretty sure that's how I got it because I remember getting kicked over and over when I'm on the ground that I remember trying to grab his legs 
and take him down so he could stop kicking me, like pull him down to the ground. He just kept kicking. According to Sivak, Orobig continued the beating even as he tried to leave. As I would start to turn away, he would lunge, come towards me holding the golf club up. And I remember saying twice distinctly, you can't hit me when in the back, you're not gonna sucker punch me. We're walking away. You can't do that. I said that twice. I said, you can't hit me from behind. I'm not even looking or trying to leave. At one point, Sivak feared Orobig would come after his wife. Somewhere in there, we're, we're trying to get away. My wife got in between and is yelling, sort of pleading at him to stop. And he goes and lunges at her. I'm like, you know, you want to protect your wife, right? And and I, I jumped in front of her and like pushed her back. I said, you are not going after my wife. You're not going to do that. I think he, he hit me again at that point. I think he swung at me again and she just pulled me pulled me away and we went and she was calling 911 and, and screaming, you know, to get away. Sivek and his wife can then be heard on the 911 call, assessing his injuries and coming to terms with what happened. Do you need an ambulance, sir? No, I don't think so. Do I need an ambulance? I don't think so, but your face is swelling. Okay, well, let me go put some ice on it. You said your face is swelling up? Yeah, he sucker punched me. He had a golf club out. And yep. is that is, is that an address? I got a broken rib. Yeah. You said you have a broken rib? I think I can't tell, yeah. As Sivak and his wife waited for paramedics to respond, he says Orobig continued golfing. And I said, where is he? Where is he? And and she looked back and said, uh, he just went on golfing. And, and he did. He just kept golfing. She when the ambulance arrived, Sivak had an emotional moment with his son. And JJ is running down, and uh, right before the ambulance leaves, he grabs my hand, you know, he's like, I love you, Dad, and it's like, it's going to be all right. And I'm like, I'm really sorry, JJ, I haven't been home, you know, in so long, and this happens. Meanwhile, his son took video of the scene. They just kept kicking him in the ribs. After yeah. he was on the ground. After he was on the ground, and it was really not a nice way to fight. Eventually, Orobig was arrested and taken into custody. This is unbelievable. All right, reason you're being arrested, okay? Yeah, you guys got into a mutual combat, okay, or argument or whatever. All right, but evidence and witnesses have posted that you started the physical portion of it, okay? Hence the reason why you're being arrested, okay? Sivak says he sustained multiple injuries, including three broken ribs and broken bones in his face. Probably can't see it, but this ear is all messed up. There's like 40 stitches in it and the earlobe. It's really awful. It's gross. It was it was hanging off. And three fractures. The maxilla bone here is broken. Um, the nasal bone here in your nose um, is broken. And then the fracture extends into my orbit, which is the bone all around your eye down here. On top of the physical effects of the incident, Sivak says he's still coping with the emotional ramifications. Yeah, I can't sleep because when I move, change any position, the ribs, the pain just shoots through me, wakes me up. I feel like I'm getting hit again, you know, and it's like this, this flashback, this nightmare or something where it's just coming back to me and it's awful and it wakes me up. Now, life's never going to be the same. I mean, this is supposed to be a really safe, you know, neighborhood and, and it has been, but I mean, this stuff's right outside our door and um, it's just awful, man. I don't know if we'll ever feel safe again. And my wife's, you know, just trying to be strong, but she's the one that had to see all this, you know, and see me like this and, uh, you know, go through all this with me. Sivak tells Law and Crime Network he has a long road to recovery that could take months. Orobig was arrested and charged with aggravated battery and has since been released on $5,000 bond. Reporting for Law and Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.